A peak model is designed for a specific spectrum by creating a set of component peaks with a set of line shapes and a set of relationships between fitting parameters that allow the correct physical meaning to be attributed to various components within the peak model and also produce a residual standard deviation that indicates we have good data reproduction. There are two aspects to a peak model. We require the peak model to be physically meaningful, meaning that each of the peaks that we see can be correlated with physical processes related to the sample. For example, here we have an oxide of titanium, so we have a doublet peak that represents the oxide, and then we also have a metallic form of titanium, and the shapes, the separation, the relationship to the background, all of these have to be correct to be physically meaningful. And the other aspect is the mathematical solution. That is to say, once we choose a set of parameters, and we have a set of relationships that we believe appropriate, when we say fit and the optimization process occurs, then the outcome may not be the one we desire simply because there is a local minimum that is a better fit mathematically than the physically meaningful solution. So at every stage in the development of this peak model, there is a need to experiment, fit, and then perhaps return to the state prior to the fitting or some state, maybe several steps before that particular state, that is more appropriate in a scientific sense. So what I'm going to do in this video is illustrate how the options on the quantification parameters dialog window on the components property page allow us to experiment with the peak model and then retrace our steps in order to return to a state that is more appropriate for the path that will lead to the ultimate solution that we will choose for these data. A peak model is a set of components plus a background. And both of these are required to define the state of this peak model. So when we press this button, store to list, what we're doing is we're saving the current set of components and also the background. There's another way of storing a peak model to this list, and that's each time the fit components button is pressed, then the current state before the fit occurs is loaded onto this list so that in the event that the mathematical solution isn't what you expect and you'd like to go back to that original state before you press the fit button then you can press the recall button to step backwards to the state prior to pressing the fit components button. There are other mechanisms for adding to this list and one of them is if we wanted to experiment with a different line shape. So, for example, if I thought I was going to adjust this modifier to the Donyuk Sunjik line shape and change the parameter from 30 to 40, and if I want to apply this to all the Donyuk Sunjik peaks, I could then enter equals and then press return. And this tells me I'm going to update to all the components. This is not what I want to do, but in the event that I select yes, then the peak model has now changed and every single one of these component peaks has adjusted and this is not what I expected so what I want to do is return to the previous state I press recall from list and then I return to these states here. The third of these buttons is the reset list and this is part of the management of the peak models that are currently held upon this list. Since each time the fit components button is pressed or if a line shape is updated with the hash or the equal key then the list grows then ultimately the list may grow to the point that it's unmanageable, in which case you may reset the list, which returns it to an empty state, and then press the store button to reload the current peak model. To step backwards, you use the recall button. And with each press of the recall button, you step one step further back in history until you reach the end of history, and then it returns to the start. So you're cycling through the different peak models that have been loaded onto this list using the recall button. And this can get unmanageable. So at some point you may wish to reset the whole list and then start again. 